So Mira's <laughs> just, Mira's just nailed a slime with a, with another javelin, and we come back around to Seamus's turn. Hey, can we get can we give them different colored dots? <laughs> okay. Why? Just so we can differentiate them. Okay. Yellow. Yeah. All right, All right let's turn. All right. Also, I forgot. I told you I need to actually see them. So yeah. my bad. Well, duh. So, uh, I mean, you you couldn't you have cast? Hold on, couldn't you have casted it? You Are you talking about this turn or last turn? Last. Turn. You could have cast it then moved. Yeah, that, yeah. that's fine. You could right. do that, but yes, you need to be able to see the target you're casting your spell at. That's kind of a given. Can you say that I can see around the corner? I guess I can't. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll can't give you see that. You can, lean around, you can lean around a corner. That's something you okay, can do cool. anyway. I'm gonna... that's, that's cover. Corner is cover. I am going to tall the dead on the purple. didn't suck it didn't suck damn it so it's ooze time they still take a uh, d8 of damage what are you talking about oh wait no if they save it no never mind never mind yeah it's save or suck he saved yeah and they can't do anything <laughs> <laughs> So, Orient. Yes. Right. Uh... <clears throat> On my eat shit, you little jello pudding. <laughs> it probably has eaten shit. It didn't save. And it's dead. Aha! You killed, ba -da -ba -ba. you killed with vicious mockery. Congratulations. Right, now let's back the fuck up again. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna bean number... I've been forgetting to... Reckless attack. Bean blue. With a javelin? Yes, that the same hit. one I've been beaning, yes. That, that'll hit. No, you had, you had been beaning green. Oh, well, I bean him then because I've been beaning the same one I've been beaning. Yeah. All right, Seamus. Wait, let me let me take a step back. Then it's Seamus's turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the dead. Which one? On which one? Yellow. Ooh, that's another save. Ugh. Damn it! Damn. If you get a toll again, can you hit green? Because I've been beating in green with my javelin. She's probably lit. All right. Fuck off. Oh. And we come back around to Orit. So I don't know what he's gonna do from way over there. I don't know what I'm going to do either, but I thought the whole point was we were backing off. Well, but, we're backing uh, off slowly, because they're slow as shit. We, we need to walk away at a brisk pace. <laughs> Not run away screaming. I mean, if I, if I was over there, they'd bought me. So, but if I, go, if I go back over, I can't get away fast enough. Uh, so moral support, you can do it. Yeah, woohoo. <laughs> you still bardic inspiration? Yes, please. I got my last one. There you go. Poof, bardic inspiration. Yay. Wait, do you still have the, um, the extra health thing? Or is that no. a... Okay. That's a spell. I used my last spell F. to heal, uh, Seamus when he was at one health. Mira? All right. Seamus, I'm going to... I'm, I'm taking this step over here. So... 
You're gonna have to get behind me, buddy. <laughs> and I will prepare- this time, I will, in fact, prepare an action to whack the first slime that comes across my view. Alright. Seamus? Well, whatever the big dragon lady says. Actually, I can move, cast, then move, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. I'm going to move here. Cast, hold the dead on green. I mean, you, could, you could do that without having to move beforehand anyway, so... I mean... Because we determined okay. you could peek around corners. That is a failed save. Right. Sweet. Haha, <laughs> what a loser taking fucking damage. Oof! Oh, he is dead, dead, mega dead. Nice. I'm gonna move to the behind Mira. All right. Oh, gets fucking smacked. He gets whack smack cracked. Dead, dead. I hope. No. No. Okay. No. All right. Now, Orient. Aha! I can see it. I can insult it. <laughs> Failed save. Aha! Yep, okay. Mira. <laughs> eh. Alright, that'll hit. I'm not doing enough fucking damage. You bury your you bury your axe into the slime, but it's not dead. No, I don't, I'm not gonna move. You can't melee attack me around corners, I don't think. You can, you just get cover. Okay. So you get a, I believe it's a plus four to your AC for just a corner. Oh fuck, I forgot to turn, to turn off my reckless attack. Correct. But it's Seamus' turn, not the slimes. Okay. Well, Seamus. Yeah. What is that? I think I hear a bell ringing. Boom, boom, boom. That is a failed save. On yellow. Well, it's the only one you can see from here. Bing, bing, bong. Nice. Is dead. I'll be backing up. <laughs> Jesus. I'm only keeping a safe distance. You know the safe distance is like 15 feet, right? That's not going to hit. That's definitely not going to hit. I only want to be Wait, safe. wait, wait. If he moved around the f attack of opportunity. You're correct. Yes. Yes. All right, will he get the cover, however? Uh, yes. Okay, well, I'll fine. AC by four for this. Don't tell me if it hit or not. Okay, no, never mind. Go ahead. I know what that. I know that hit. Yeah, that definitely. If a nine hit earlier. <laughs> yeah. Even with the cover, that definitely hit. Well, fifteen damage to them. Yeah, and they've both failed to hit you, and now it's your, and now it's Orient's turn. Are you right. In spell range back there. Yes, yes, I am. All right. I just have to shout a little. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking spoiled pudding! <laughs> 
You know, I have to say, it is quite entertaining hearing people just berate the things I'm beating the shit out of. Yeah, well, you know, Moral support. being a bard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Kill it. Uh, how how lit how lit does he look? It's he he's barely holding together, man. I kind of want to just hit the guy to the hit number hit hit red and uh okay. yeah I'm gonna try to hit red. Don't tell me if it hits immediately. Never mind. You have advantage. So, uh, Reckless attack. If you you're want, right. If you want to use you're it. right. You're right. So we're just... Uh, I'll just roll again. Yeah. So let's be honest. Alright. You're good. Okay. Smack. Uh, one smack. That's seven damage to him. And then I will... Back the fuck up! <laughs> I don't care if I'm taking it. Well, he can go ahead and try to hit me. He does. He does indeed. Alright. <clears throat> Make me go that, ow. Unfortunately for you, is a nat 20. Make me go ow. Uh, you are going to take 13 physical damage. Uh-oh. <laughs> The acid isn't multiplied on a crit, is it? No. And six acid damage. Okay, so 19. Ow. Ow! And it's Seamus' turn. I did a good amount to the, to the one you can see right now. What's the range on Toll of the Dead? Sixty destroyed. All right. Just making sure. God. Toll the uh, dead. No. Oh my God. Oh. no. That's a failed save. Perish, stupid. S Perish. Oh! It is dead. 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 It just. It just melts. Okay, whose turn? God damn, the toll of dead damage rolls. Holy shit. Alright. There's one in view. Yes. <clears throat> I got a 12, a 10, and another 12. Holy fuck. You look like what happened when I unclogged my drain. Failed save. Shazam. Seriously, that for did psychic lose? damage. Who did we lose? Did we get? Who did we just uh, lose? We lost. Him. Well, I think we. I, oh, he's back. We've got him back. Oh. Are are we good? Can we hear you? Hello. You're good. All right. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right. Seriously, total... technical difficulties exactly. aside. It, that that's got the, the damage dice has to increase at higher levels, right? What? A vicious mockery? Vicious mockery? Uh, no. No? Okay. <laughs> Mira? Vicious mockery is garbage! Uh... Pff. Gulp? Oh, alright. <laughs> yeah, Tola Dead increases by one die on each fifth level. <laughs> It's such a good spell. And I will move up. Oh! Here. Damn! I'm dumb as hell! Si Vicious Mockery has an additional effect. We haven't been using this whole time. What is it? Uh. Ducks, I'm pretty sure. Does it stun? What? No, it's disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn if it fails the save. Yeah. yeah. Bum 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 ba da 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 ba da ba da It was much 
<laughs> so to like, be fair, that's also a my bad because I could have corrected it, but I, I I wasn't paying attention. No, 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 no. guys, guys, I think I think all of us now. Wait, hold on. This it deals an entirely different effect than what I originally thought because I thought, hold on, one d four psychic damage. I knew that. First. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Jameson. go ahead, go ahead. Wait, I, I, well, I've been sending you all to the grave all fucking day. Time to join your brothers in hell. That is a successful save. Damn. Well, looks like you'll join them in a few seconds. Fucking stupid. Yes, uh, another vicious mockery coming up. <laughs> Going up! That Oops, that's the wrong button, but, uh... I mean, it's a D4. That's the description. Uh, there you, there you go. Okay, now, since, we're, since we just cast it and he failed to save, what's the other effect? What are, it's, it's 1d4 psychic damage and disadvantaged on its next attack roll. Do I dare? Yes, I do. Whack! Wait, I have advantage. You do indeed have advantage, though that will hit anyway, but you can still yeah, crit. Yeah, it'll hit anyway. You can still I could crit. still crit, you're right. Go ahead. I mean, I clicked on it, I'm waiting. No. Nah. Although, we will take that one because it's more damage. Okay, sure. Sure. We'll do that. It's dead. Shh, sure, thanks. Yes, it's, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> I, I, I killed it, guys. It's dead. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, well, I thought just that easy. I'm gonna drink my last healing potion. So, vicious mockery is. Oh, that better, was my last healing slightly potion. Slightly better than we thought it was. <laughs> and yes, damage does increase at higher levels. I even in here it says, well, I. Where the hell did I get the idea that I dealt, I dealt a D4 Psychic, but half on a, on a save? But that's not it at all. It's a D4 Psychic, none on a save, and, uh... And dis but it also if it fails disadvantage on the next attack it makes. Well, how did I get so wrong with that? Who knows? Anyway, it's much better than I thought it was. And its damage does increase, but, like, at, like, a little 5, 11, 7 teeth. So, yeah, no. So, either way, uh... A damage output wouldn't have been any higher, but it would be imposing disadvantage, which would have been really good. So, the, the only, Yeah, the only caveat about that is the fact that with Mira's Reckless attack, uh, that would just cancel out the advantage. I mean, it would still cancel out the advantage that she that enemies get against her. Yeah. For, le for Reckless attack, but, I mean, which can be good in its own, right? But, anyway. The hey, no, 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 it's, um... The are it's it's time for Orient to put on the clown makeup. It's time for me to get what I fucking deserve. Bang. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the users are dead. Good. Uh, but that was. And Seamus and Orient found a chest. Did we? We've explored every other room in here, though. Yes. Like we we know that you have indeed been no one every nook of any room. kind anywhere. No. Right. Uh, Seamus. Uh, Seamus found a chest, and uh, he gets first dibs on it. So let's go back well, to that. I suppose he does. All right. It was in this room, right? Right. Seamus, are you coming? Uh, I just collected myself. I guess I'll open the chest and let's see what's inside. So there is actually First quite a, there's actually quite a I bit mean, in this yeah. chest, and it's a fairly large chest, so that makes sense. Uh, the first things that catch your eye are the eight gemstones, as well as an assortment of coins, seventy gold and one hundred twenty silver. Sorry, one thousand two hundred silver pieces. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hold on, eight gemstones. 1200 silver 70 gold 
and 15 easily identifiable health potions. Potions of healing. 15 red potion. As well as an assortment of other items. Ah! Items. Who wants to be the first one to take a look? Well, I guess Mira opened the chest, didn't you? Well, I mean, Seamus had first dibs, but if... Seamus did have first dibs. So... Oh, he has first dibs! That doesn't mean I can't look at what's inside. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, out of everything in the ch out of everything in the chest, Mira, the first thing that would probably stick out to you is the weapon. All right, what is the weapon then? Sitting in sitting in the chest is a large hammer with a sp it's with a what? It's uh the hammer head is spiked. So it's it's a, a mall. It's a mall. A yeah. a mall. Yeah, <laughs> that is what it is. Wait, no, a mall doesn't necessarily have well, a spiked head. What is that it's called? A spiked then? head. It, it, it's a mallet. It's a large mallet. Yes. Ooh. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Uh, if you would like the specifics about its... I'm not going to tell you what its name is, but it does a D8 slashing or blood Whoa. damage. Okay, slashing, okay. Slashing or blood damage. It's also, it's also a versatile weapon, so if you wield it in two hands, it's a D10. Okay, so it's always a D10. Got it. <laughs> Uh, for putting down, like, extra stuff, is it giving me anything uh, else to hit or anything? Uh... Just for, for number purposes. You can feel it's radiating an energy. It's a plus one weapon. Okay. I'll just put the one and the one there. Plus one to attack and damage rolls with this. Yes. Oogie, thank you. Uh, Orient? Since, who, 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 mm -hmm. wants, who wants next? Get Seamus. Seamus, get, Seamus gets next. Let me take a look. All right, uh, of, the, of the assorted goods, Seamus, the first thing you that probably stand out to you would be the staff. Oh? About, this, about the same uh, length as your typical quarter staff. However, it's tipped with a statue, with a statue carving, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, of a bird of some kind. Hmm. Interesting. If you would like, it just just as a general thing, uh, if anyone would like it any time here, you can roll me a knowledge arcana check. That's a job for the yeah. wizard. Did somebody say Arcana. <laughs> I don't get. You don't get uh, advantage, but yeah, I mean, it. I still still have it fucking highlighted because I always have advantage for attack rolls. Yeah. That's the one. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, or he does a backflip. <laughs> or he does <laughs> He just is like a he just like a victory emote <laughs> backflip. Okay, with, does backflip. Like, yep, nope, I don't know what it is. <laughs> right. uh, with the exception of one of the things in here, because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Orient roll Orient specifically roll for that, and I'll I think I'll just use. Oh well, no, I can't use that because that's acrobatics. Uh, but I'll count that as a general thing. So Seamus, you recognize the the hammer that Mira picked up as a as a weapon known as the Shatter Spike? Oh. Uh, well, Mira, I believe that's a shatter spike. Yes, 
And what that means for you is that if you attack an object with that hammer, you automatically get a crit. Oh. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, that's that's a weapon for breaking things. <laughs> uh, Seamus, the staff you pulled is known as the is known as the Skyblinder staff. You get a plus one to attack and damage rolls. Uh, when you use it as a quarter staff, as well as a plus one to spell attacks. Oh, I like that. If a flying creature, I like that a lot. If any flying creatures enter uh, a thirty feet range of you and make an attack, you can use a reaction to hold the staff aloft, causing a flash of blinding light, imposing disadvantage on your attacker. Granted, they must exceed a, a DC oh. 15 con save. And it has to be a flying creature. It, it, what it, a stipulation. It is a flying... It is... Well, it's the Skyblinder's staff. Well. Something tells me uh, we're going to run into these uh, enemy types. A flying enemy that can be blinded. A bird comes at you. Uh, all right. Remaining in the bag, or re remaining in the chest, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all pick the order here. Actually, we'll we'll do we'll do Orient mm -hmm. first. Uh, so Orient, give me an Arcana check real quick, because the thing that's, oh. the thing that stands out for you, Arcana and or history, if you want. They're both. Well, we'll take history. <laughs> I rolled better on history. All right. Uh, Orient, the thing, the, the item that stands out to you in particular is a liar. A flyer? Liar. A oh, liar. Liar. Okay. Pants for hire. Shut. It is exquisitely crafted, made of some sort of mahogany wood, or made of mahogany wood. That is mahogany. Yeah, and the strings are shiny, but they're definitely not any kind of precious metal. It look, and it is also carved in oh. It is a beautiful piece. Exquisite. You recognize it as an instrument of the bards, specifically, specifically one uh, belonging to a Mac Brimda. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Boha. Uh, it is a it is an instrument that is magical in nature and has a number of spells attuned to it, each one with a single casting per day. All instruments of this quality have the following spells. Fly, invisibility, levitate, as well as protections from both evil and protection from good. So you can cast... Uh... In addition, this one in particular can also be used to cast bark, cast bark skin, cure wounds, and fog cloud. All of these spells can be cast once per day. Each. Each. Yes. Nice. Now this that is something me. That that's a nutty object all right and there are still some others in here uh remaining in the chest is a uh satchel a gray bag and a crystal looking and a crystal yeah an orb made of some kind of crystal and a chalice of some kind. 
all of which are have been identified as magical. So, which one do y'all want to check out first? The satchel. The satchel. Seamus identifies it as a bag of holding. Finally! I mean, oh, it's a bag of holding. <laughs> what? Oh, what? A bag of holding. Uh, you just put things inside of it. Yes, that is usually what bags are for. What makes this one special? You can put things inside that normally wouldn't fit in an average bag. So, like your head. Specific, specifically. No. Yes, you're right. That still wouldn't fit. Stat-wise, it, it can carry up to 500 pounds, and nothing can exceed a 60 foot four or a 64 cubic feet of volume. Ah, so he wouldn't be able to fit Mira's dinner in here. Bag, oh, definitely not. The bag weighs 15 pounds by itself, but never more than that. Oh. If it's that heavy, would you yeah, like me to carry more. it? Uh, sure. Alright, what's next? The cum chalice. I mean, the, just the regular chalice. The chalice. Seamus, you are frankly uh, blown away that this thing is here because it's whew, it, oh. it's kind of nutty. Hang on, I need to the bag of holding or Not what? The bag of holding the chalice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not going to say much about it. <laughs> you recognize it as a sensor of controlling air elementals. Oh. You can burn incense in this, and while you and when you do, it's as if you have cast a uh, command word or you, you burn incense, speak the command word, and it summons an air elemental. As if you would cast Conjure Elemental. The sensor can't be used in this way for until the next day. It's six inches wide, a foot high, and weighs a pound. So I have... I, I, have, dropped, I have dropped you guys away to just summon an air elemental. He, uh, he's windy. That that one was. Random. His name, his name will be Windy. All right. Windy, Wendy. There remains the gray pouch, and the crystal orb. Orb. Oh, uh, what's the orb? The orb is known as the Drift Globe. This small sphere of thick glass weighs one pound. Uh. <clears throat> It remains at a range of 60 feet, and once activated, it cause it creates daylight and follows you around. It's a rolling torch. Hmm. Oh. A rolling or a floating torch? Floating torch. Doesn't matter. It follows you around and lights up a, an area six feet or 60 feet around you. Do you two have dark vision? No. Uh, do, do I have I don't. Dark otherwise, vision? otherwise I think I'll keep yes. the group on me. I do have dark vision. How long does it last? Uh, it's the daylight spell. Okay. So what you're telling me is it's an ion torch on steroids. Yes. <laughs> and it's bigger how big it's not like it's a it's like a like a tennis ball size like something like that uh i would akin it more to like maybe a basketball but that's probably a little too big so tennis ball size sounds about right actually 
or it baseball. It says it's small. Baseball, maybe. Actually, softball. It's like a softball. There we go. I was trying to yeah, think of something okay. between a, a tennis ball and a basketball size, and I just couldn't remember about that just now. All right. Anyway, All right, the last one. The last one is a gray bag of tricks. A bag of tricks. Yes, a gray bag of tricks. Would anyone like to pull? Okay, there we go. Would anyone like to pull anything out of the bag of tricks? Oh yeah, I would love to. Because this, this is frankly more fun than me just telling you what it does. I want to pull something out about a jet bag of tricks. You reach into the bag and pull out a small fuzzy ball. Hmm. Uh, like... hey, Zach, heads or tails? <laughs> tails. <laughs> that coin went somewhere. <laughs> it landed on tails. I, I'm going to flip another coin. No, sorry, it landed on tails. Hey, it landed on tails! I throw the ball I at said. Oriot. <laughs> no! I throw the ball at Oriot. Yes. Oriot, would you like to make, um, let's call it a deck save to catch it? Uh, uh sure, I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to catch. Oriot snaps, snags the ball out of the air. Nothing happens. Okay. Now what are you going to do with it, Oriot? I throw it back at Mira. Same, same to you, Mira. Deck save. Dude, this is my favorite. I have advantage on deck saves. <laughs> Hot potato. That'll catch it. it. You catch it. Nothing happens. It's all soft. I like this ball. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you going to do with it? I'm going to keep it in my pocket. I'm going to throw it at somebody later. What color is All it? All right. It's um it's gray. Okay. It's a gray ball of hair. It's too big to fit in your pocket. Oh, it's a ball of hair? Yes, it's a ball of hair. Oh, I thought it was just like a, a ball a soft like squishy ball. I mean, it, it no. functions the same way, but it's it is definitely a ball of like hair. Or fur, what kind? I suppose. Yeah, okay. More accurate. I wouldn't have thrown it at Oriot <laughs> if it was just a ball of fur. So what do you what do you do with it? I toss it over my shoulder. You toss it over your shoulder. When it hits the ground, you hear a soft popping noise. Please roll me a D eight. Okay. Oh, I picked up my actual D8. I literally just put in slash D8. I am... Oh, God. I did it. I did it. I rolled a D8. I successfully rolled a D8. Yeah, perfect. Oh, it's is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, so who's... Seamus, you're, you'd be in the best position to see this. Uh, when when Mira throws the ball behind her, and it lands, the ball as it touches the ground, the ball disappears, and in its place is a giant badger. Yep. Huh. It's a ball of badgering. It does what do you mean? It's a It's a what? <laughs> It's a ball. It's a ball of. What badgering. do you mean? It's and I turn around. And there is a giant badger. Ah! <laughs> now I need. Now I need to make sure that the giant badger isn't a large creature. <laughs> I hope not. But it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. Well, of course it's not. It's badgering her. It. it... No, it's a medium beast. All right. Hey there, little guy. It, By little, I mean not little. Uh, what, what are you? What are you doing? You 
I, I rolled animal handling. All right. It, it responds like... positively. It, like, walks up and sniffs you, sniffs you a bit and then just kind of sits there waiting on you. I'm going to give it some food. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now that, now that that's finally out of the way. <laughs> Do uh, I have a pet badger? The gray bag of tricks... Like the other types of bag, bag of tricks, uh, allows you to once per day pull out a fuzzy ball, as you had done, throw it up to 20 feet away from you, and where it lands, it will spawn a creature. Depending on this 1d8 table, it can spawn a weasel, a giant rat, a badger, a boar, a panther, a giant badger, a dire wolf, or a giant elk. And a Tarrasque. What about Tarrasque? All of these, all of these creatures, uh, follow you, follow you around, act on your orders, and uh, as well as acting on your turn, and will do so until either the day passes or they hit zero hit points. Bruh, so I I've, want. So what I've done give me a I've, I've pet bag. Yeah, what I've done is I've given you a random pet a day. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so, so I, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want this. I kind of want the bag. Keep it then. Well, there's. I gave. Well, I. Yeah, that, there's six items that I had planned out, and then the one random piece of loot. So there's the each of you specific item, the three that you can, and then three that you can just dole out however you'd like. So if Mira wants the bag, you, Mira can have the bag. Unless there is any objections. <laughs> I hear no objections. The bag I mean, is mine. They're all kind of generally useful. It's just whoever wants it takes it. Alright. Uh, Nam, can I ask that we pause the recording real quick? Yeah. And we're back. Okay. So. You exit the dungeon. Leading, Away! Leading the now freed prisoners out. And what's your next move? Uh, well, I suppose all the adults know where they're going. Ah! Ooh, that's loud. Uh, all... Well, we want to know... If... Sorry, all, all the freed prisoners had left? Or where, where are they? They're, I mean, they they don't know what's going on. They you you've led them outside. Uh we should take them to the guard, right? Like we need yeah. to debrief them, get them any medical attention they might need, make sure none of them have an ooze in them right now, and if they do, deal with that. Uh, and then yeah, see about the girl who's unconscious. All right, to the guard, away! Oh so yeah, to the guard. Because you probably need a reminder, you did also find another one of those journals full of... Yes! The... To the so guard, away! We go... We'll go to the guard first, then we'll go talk to our our friend... Um... Hold on, I have his name written down. Callan. We'll talk to Callan to see his progress on, on dis deciphering the first one and hand him this one and yeah. as well. So you're able to find a, a sentry... Uh, guard pretty easily, as usual. Uh, Good. Good city. What, where, where did all these people come from? Dungeon. There was an abandoned shack over there that had a, a large basement. People were being tortured and experimented on down there. The, oh my god. The, so these are the, the kidnapping victims. Yes, they are. We need to make sure they're safe, and we need to be, make sure that... Uh, they're healthy, and then we need to uh, basically debrief them on what's happened. Also, uh, big worry. 
something really disgusting was happening down there. Some of them were implanted with oozes that ate their way out of them, and we need to make sure that none of the people here have one of those in them right now, not only to save their lives, but because if the ooze got out and hurt other people, that would also be bad, obviously. Uh, okay. Right then. So get, he, get divination wizards or something pulls, to see if anyone has one. He pulls a fairly large handbell out of his uh, bag and begins ringing it. He tolls the dead. Nah. <laughs> as, as he does so, more guards appear, more guards make their way into the street, or onto this street, and begin helping the victims. Thank you. Thank you. No, you're, you're, you're welcome. There's the bell. Uh, uh, th- and what are your names, if I might ask? Uh, Oriot, Mira, and Seamus. We have already been working with the guard, uh, actually. Uh, uh, well, thank you. I'll be sure to let the captain know that you, that you were successful in finding these people. And we'll get somebody down there to take a look at that. Right. We think we covered everything, but it would be good to do another sweep, see if we missed anything or any one. Well, I mean, we need to identify the dead that too yes that's sorry that's that's also very important i just get caught up in the well, well, thank you very much. good job for you good job for us let's let's do this thank you very much let's get this um, taken care of i suppose i'll see you around and he trots off to go help with the relief i suppose Would be the right all right way. perfect um Mira's just standing there holding the child. Like, what What do we do with this one? Oh, uh, I'll... I mean, should... Yes, she should be inspected uh, like everyone else for health reasons. And, and honestly, because she's the only one unconscious, I would check her first for the possibility of a news. Where she goes. And... And she was alone. She was the only one we found alive and alone. Hmm. That's... Again, really, really doubles down on that thing. You need to make sure if any, if you're gonna check anyone, start with her. All, all right. Well, we'll, we'll, we're gonna get right on that. Right. Good job. Good on. job, off- time. Good job, officer. Like, all right, we need to go take this notebook to Callan so he can, you know, do his thing. Well, we don't need to say that to the officer. Well, I we turn to, to you guys to and say that to you. Right, meanwhile, right. Meanwhile, that would be the thing to do. <laughs> it would be the thing to do to go see what progress he's made since technically we're out of leads and it'll take a while for them to Bad year. Uh, deal with. Pleasure. I don't know. That's That sounds like harsh words. I don't know what to say. Manage. Manage the people we found. It took a little while for them to manage that so we before we can check in and see you know, if they know anything and if they're okay. Should, I guess we can take some time to go see Callan. In either case, we have more information for him. And he probably has information for us. So? It's just priority of action is, is the only thing I'm worried about. But yes, we have time. Let's go see Callan. Right, so you Unless you have another idea, Seamus. Well, otherwise uh, I was going to go sell really, all the loot I found. I'm not really full of any ideas right now, so... Then let's go see Callan. Alright, so you head off, and you, you're actually able to find the, uh, quote-unquote, student store fairly easily. Uh, it's, it's not a big building, but it's definitely, it's definitely sizable. Uh, however, there is a sign on the door that says that they are closed. Well, that sucks. Knock, Damn. knock, knock. <laughs> Uh, as, how hard are you knocking? Like, uh, loudly. I mean, it's, it's, it's Mira's knock, so it's okay. pretty, it's a pretty solid knock, but it's it, not like I'm trying to bust the door down or anything. There's no response. Uh, 
Should it be closed at this hour? It's about Is it lunchtime? Uh, I mean, it's a little past midday. There's not, there's not, uh, a will return sign or anything accompanying it, but it's just a closed. They are closed. Well, obviously, if we flip the sign, it'll be open. Then we'll be able to walk in. That's how it works, right? That's not how it works. I knock on the door a little harder. Uh, you knock on, you bang on the door again. Uh, there is an audible clattering sound from it with inside, followed by the uh, hurried footsteps of a very small being, as well as muffled grumbling. What? The door flies open, and there, in its frame, stands Callan. He, once again, very I, short goblin. I look down. Oh, it's you three. Sorry, this, we, uh, this is usually my dedicated work day. You gotta fill those orders and everything. Uh, all right, but we found, um, we found another journal. You found another journal? Yes. Who? Come, who come got in. that? Come in. I, come in. I, I can make tea. Besides, I have I have I've found mm, not a lot, but definitely de definitely something interesting. Uh, interesting is something, so why not? Come in. Come in. We come yes. in. Closes and locks the door behind you and leads you upstairs, where you actually find an apartment. He lives here, above the store. Damn, bitch, you live like this? It's, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's his job, after all. Listen, listen, I feel know. like I feel like the Hulk in a, in a little girl's bedroom. I mean, with he, like a like a tea, well, like a, like a, like the, a tea set. The, <laughs> the apartment is uh has multiple rooms it's it's actually very nice uh oh and is adorned with furniture both appropriate for people his size as well as people of more average heights and girths well, 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 I, I mean I, I feel like that in general so it's <laughs> <laughs> uh he produces a tray with tea and various tea snacks Sets and sets it down on the table in front of you. Yes, well, uh, let, let can I see the journal? He says as he produces the one you had given him earlier. I hand him the journal. Thank you, thank you. It's been rather difficult to decipher. Not everything translates to undercommon, or too common from undercommon, or especially from goblin to common that easily. So going from under common to goblin must be one hell of a chore. And he starts flipping through the new the new pages. Mm, it definitely looks like whoever wrote whoever wrote the last one wrote this one too. And I'd be interested to see what they have what insights they might have. Hopefully maybe even the location. What was that weird-looking thing we ran into that had the journal? How? No, what was yes. it called? Uh, no, I... No, we're asking Seamus, because he was the one who identified it. I have no idea what that thing was called. All that I know was I chopped it in half. Seamus would identify it as a Nothic. Nothic. I don't know peculiar creature. Okay. If I remember correctly, they have a thing for magic items as well as magical knowledge. Oh, him. As well as magical knowledge in general. He does some digging in some other books and then produces a what looks like a handwritten page 
of his own making, uh, describe showing and describing the Noth what he knows about the Nothic. So you can take that if you'd like. Well, th that that that's not sure. my information to take. They're not particularly social, but they have. I'm sure. If somebody could supply it with anything it finds interesting, it would be willing to share. Though I can't imagine many people around here willing or even able to com willing or even able to communicate with it. Not exactly from around here, if you get my meaning. Yep. Yes, I uh it didn't it did not, from not this look plane. very fun. In any case, the what I have found thus far about your previous from this previous journal is simply that somewhere in this city is a treasure. A particularly powerful magical artifact that could in theory uh, let me make you something very powerful. That's just and ambiguous enough to be fucking useless. Well, <laughs> well, I can't say for sure what, since I don't have it, and I'm still pouring through the... and I'm still pouring through the information in the journal, but suffice it to say, it is A, powerful... B, not of this plane, and C, very old. And very dangerous in the wrong hands, I assume? A fine assumption to make. 